Aloha friends! Danica and I are here again. She loves to be on the videos. Danica and I are here again to show you guys a Filipino traditional recipe and it is called Ubi Halaya. Ubi. Purple yam is very common in the Philippines and we use a lot of it for our desserts. So this recipe calls for evaporated milk, coconut milk, condensed milk, butter, um, sugar, and then I'm using just one package of the grated yam. You can buy this at the Asian market into the freezer section along with all the Filipino um, products. Um, you could also buy it if it's available in your area, uh, fresh yams that you boil and then you peel and then um, you mush it down just like how they had it here and um, you add it on to um, the pot. All right, and then the pot that you're going to need for this particular recipe is a non-stick pot. So I have this wok and then also a wooden um, spoon. This recipe calls for a lot of stirring. You don't want to just leave it into the, the flame unattended because then it will easily burn. You gotta constantly stir it. All right, I went ahead and melted my butter just a little bit so it's easier to melt onto the pot and then also um, sliced it a bit because it was uh, fresh out of the refrigerator. All right, now that the butter is melted, I went ahead and added the package of grated ube or grated purple yam. And go ahead and break that down and let the butter and the yam absorb together. All right, once the butter and the grated yam has been incorporated, I'm gonna go ahead and add my one can of evaporated milk, half a can of the coconut milk, make sure that you shake it really well, and then the condensed milk. Okay. Mix that well. And again, it's on medium-low heat. Now, now the recipe calls for half a cup of sugar, but I'm gonna go ahead and just put in, just put in a quarter of a cup because we are putting the condensed milk in there and you basically just wanna flavor it to taste. Now this is Lola's uh, recipe for Obi Halaya. And Lola always makes amazing Filipino dishes. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep stirring this medium low heat until it starts to thicken. I don't know if you guys can see the nice purple color. Okay. That's from the the ube, the purple yam. Okay, hold on, I'm filming. Okay, just shh. Okay, and then constantly it's Constantly stir it because it's starting to really thicken up. This is why it's best to work with a non-stick um, pan and a wooden spoon. And we're just going to wait until it gets really nice and thick. So just constantly stir it. Alright, it's been an hour and you know it's almost done when it's reduced in size. More like a big purple blob and also there is um, when you when you scoop it like this it's slowly going back into the, the pan and the the reason that it's slowly going back from is because I have a wok but if you have a straight flat pan then it shouldn't um, it should just go back very slowly so this is maybe like another 15 more minutes and then it'll be cooked all right I went ahead and turned off the stove it's cooked. I've been cooking it for an hour and 15 minutes. And you can tell it's cooked because it's, it's thickened. And also there's a lot of uh, resistance. Alright friends, I wanted to bring it out here into the, the light. Uh, my stove area is really dark. So I wanted to show you guys the true color to the light. See that? Very nice in color. Like I said, you know it's cooked when it just comes together easily and then it's slowly pulling apart. I also forgot to mention that I went ahead and buttered 
the dish so it doesn't stick onto the dish when you remove it. So you want to put it into like a mold. So you want to find a dish that's like the right size. So if you choose to unmold it, then it's nice and pretty. I'm going to go ahead and just let this sit until it's nice and cool and then cover it. And then and it should be good for a couple of days in the refrigerator. Mm. Delicious. It's actually perfect. And that was perfect. Nice and creamy. It's perfect for halo halo. Perfect just as is. Uh, perfect as an added flavoring to a lot of uh, ube recipes. And overall, a, a great Filipino dessert. I hope you guys enjoyed this simple recipe of ubi halaya. A very favorite Filipino uh, dessert. As always, thank you for visiting A Simply Simple Life. Mahalo. Um, what, do you, what do you think? So I showed you guys, this is ours. And that's for visitors. But um, Danica helped me make ubi halaya. And first time eating it, what do you think? <laughs> you like it? <laughs> kind of chewy? Yeah? Oh. She loves to be on my videos, so... She always pops up in one of the, like, the recipe videos. Want more? Oh, good job. Yeah, it's very common in the Philippines. We use it. Um, purple yam is very common. In